make sure. Yeah, my head's in there, my head's in there. Okay. So. Good morning. I am doing a My Public Diary video right now as I'm so I'm holding a banana for comfort because I'm feeling really vulnerable, um, really, um, I'm still struggling with this overwhelmed sensation today, um, actually, <laughs> um, there. And, um, uh, so I'm going to try to really have a nice slow morning, but it's very hard for me to let go and have a slow morning when I'm feeling so overwhelmed by other things that I need to do. And <clears throat> there's some really big external important circumstances that I'm trying to get taken care of and needs I need to get met that are really challenging that I'm trying to do on my own and some I'm still trying to find help for and um, and then there's this reality of just my own capacity you know like uh, I can only do so much each day I'm a really messy <laughs> I'm in an infancy of um, a new way of life, like trying to learn how to, so everything I'm doing, like I've been a self-employed, um, tantric educator, body worker, healer, coach for around eight plus years. So this isn't new to me i've i can i've done i know how to do what i do and i know how to build my business i know how to establish my business i know how to grow my business so but all that information's up here what it takes to actually do these things and same thing with getting my needs met with the government and asking for help like i know who to call i know what to do but the paperwork the online forms the writing, the typing this, the credit card information, the banking information, like, you know how much visual requirements there are in living life and doing things? Like, <laughs> everything. I'm like, <laughs> so, uh, right now I'm really overwhelmed with the realization of my limited capacity, the reality of my limited capacity and what I still can't do and what I still really need help with. And I have a Candace Care document that one of my beautiful lovers created for me. We have this system where I send them, every time I think of something I need done or I need help with doing or I can't do, I send them a message and they edit this list. And then I have some helpers that are offering help in exchange for Tantra or just because they love me and want to help me. And um, so it's a Google Doc, and so I could just add them to the Google Doc via email, and then people can pick up tasks and say, hey, I can help you with this. So I'm starting to create a better system, but it's like slowly coming together, and even with my events, like, it's all, I'm new to San Diego, and I have some events that I ran a few times, but I'm still grounding them in San Diego and finding what the best way is to run these events for the community, what the best kind of ticket pricing in, what, what the best donation structures are, what the community needs, what the community wants, what feels good to me. Like, so, so there's all this professional kind of like stuff as who I am in the world. And then on the personal level, like, how do I do all this as a blind person? Um, and my health needs, how do I manage getting, do all this professional stuff while still navigating, getting new health insurance and filling out the stuff for that, doing the blind dog school navigating getting rides and reading getting all the, the like blind school stuff taken care of like i have to read they have like a a document that lists all the classes i have to look at all the classes and register for the classes and then i have to line up transportation to the classes 
So, <laughs> nothing comes easy. <laughs> You know, right now, it's just, it feels like not. And, you know, I have a really a sweet new fairy in my life that's been helping me in exchange for staying here occasionally here at the temple. Because, uh, you know, I have a really beautiful, wonderful temple home and it's magical. It's a really magical land. And so she's so grateful to be able to stay here. And I'm so grateful for, you know, having her here, here and there and offering me help. and. She's taking a look at the document, seeing what she can do remotely because there's some things I need help with, like direct, like right here, you need to be with me. There's some things that you could do remotely. There's some things that are very personal that require a lot of relationship building or trust or knowledge of certain avenues of my profession and certain, yeah, I have certain professional backgrounds. I need certain assistance with people with certain professional skills and backgrounds and then some are just like basic you know i gotta tell you filling out forms you know i have all the information up here i just need you to blah, 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 you know um so <laughs> my list of needs is so large and it's so overwhelming but every day i'm finding that i have beautiful new people in my life and beautiful new opportunities to ask for help and let others help me and beautiful new opportunities to take care of myself. Yesterday, taking that walk without my cane was a big thing for me. Um, I've been taking on new domestic duties every day. I just got a new carpet and mat, like a cleaning system for the house because if you know, I have lots of stuffies and mattresses and mats and netting and fabrics and stuff and so, and it's really nice to be able to keep all that clean. So now I have a new cleaning machine that I'm gonna test out over the next four days. And I want, I need temple assistance to help me test out this cool machine to decide if I really want this cool machine. Um, it, it's like an investment, it's a temple investment um, that I'm trying to decide if it's you know really worth it. And for me, with the events that I run, I feel like keeping all these mats and the furry carpets and the stuffed animals and the fabrics and everything that I do clean is really important because you know I throw food parties sensual parties like there's oils and foods and yummy juices and everything and so the work that I go through like to clean and to like so lots of sheets lots of linens if you're ever looking for a place to donate your sheets and pillowcases too or um, plastic bags and plastic tarps um, um, uh, shower curtains fabric shower curtains things that are waterproof water resistant um, uh, liquid resistant because I'm always covering things and I need different kinds of materials to cover things for different kinds of play and comfort um, so I'm always looking for <laughs> different materials for all my many creative play ideas um and so i always have to cover so i cover pillows and things with plastic um to prevent fabrics from you know getting stuff on them um and i have like um waterproof mattress covers on all my mats and things so those are things i'm always looking for too and constantly putting extra sheets on things to create added layers and levels of protection. So running a temple takes all of this. <laughs> and you know, I live here alone really, and I can only do so much as one human, um, and I can only do so much as a blind human now. And so right now I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed, and I'm just getting out of um, a really, a pretty dark depression. I'd never... You would know that I was once a heroin and crack addicted prostitute that lived on the streets. And when I stopped that lifestyle at the age of 21, so I started, I started my integration into that lifestyle around the age of 14, 15, 16. It was a slow progression, started on chat lines and then I hit the streets around 17. Um, and so coming out of that life at the age of 21, I was a mess. 
and um, and but I figured it out and I learned how to be the person that I am and I had a lot of needs and I was like oh god I was such a mess and but I learned how to be the amazing me that I am that I wasn't blind you know and I couldn't <laughs> This person that I am and this temple and my profession and my career and these skills that I have and I created a life for myself that I was able to support with the skill set that I had as a non-blind person and now that I'm blind it's it's really interesting because it's all that stuff that I speak of like that those old traumas and wounds are like, they're up again. So I'm trying to find a way through them. And so the other piece I wanted to talk about is like, I was in really dark places in my life and I never thought about killing myself. I was okay with dying. Dying was cool. That was an option. That was a part of my life. People died around me all the time. And I knew that that was something I was susceptible to with my chosen lifestyle. But now I have this amazing life. But the going, so I moved across the country. So everything hit me with a big whammy. If you, if you don't really know my story, when I moved to California nine months ago, I moved here and I was in a sacred union. That was what I was gonna get sick. So I moved here with a partner and when I commit to someone, even though I'm open to change, because change always happens, I am serious in my commitments. I'm very um, loyal <laughs> and uh, committed. And as much as I say I have a lot of lovers, I don't have a lot of intercourse in people. When I say I have a lover, it's an emotional, sacred relationship. And if I decide to bring our love to the place of intercourse or oral sex, it's another degree of relating. So when I moved to California, I moved here with a partner that I thought that I was building a life with here in California on a lot of levels. And they decided that wasn't for them anymore and they didn't want that life with me anymore. We mutually decided that we needed to relation shift is what happened and then during that time they decided they didn't want a relationship, they just wanted to get out of the relationship. And um, so also during that time when I first moved here I lost a cat. I moved here with two cats and I had one cat that left and, um, and then my vision started deteriorating worse and worse and more and more over the last nine months of living here. Um, so the last nine months have been nine months of loss in a lot of ways. I moved to San Diego uh, to expand my life and to grow and like build my roots in new ways. But it's really interesting because what's really happened for me is I've suffered financial loss. I've suffered relational loss. I've suffered vision loss. I've suffered professional loss. Like I, I, I'm not, I'm not doing as well professionally. I'm not doing as well emotionally. Like it's like really interesting. Like the amount of loss that I've had since moving here. And now I'm in this infancy where, yes, I had all that loss, okay? Like, yeah, that all happened, okay? That's not deniable, okay? That all fucking happened. And that's all still there, but I can perceive it differently. <sighs> I'm in a state of infancy, in a huge state of newness, newness with, it's almost like nothingness, with a giant void with all these new decisions, all these new opportunities. Like, what do I want to do? Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> what do I want to do? <laughs> what do I want to do it? 
What can I do? What can't I do? What, what, who am I? <laughs> it's really crazy. Like, right now I'm in this place of, so like September is planned. September, my September calendar is set in stone, literally. But October is still wide open in November. I had November plans and those were wiped away. I was taking the, I was helping and assisting with the transformational intensive for facilitators with Monique Darling and Peter Peterson, but they had a volcano in Hawaii and so they had to change plans and move it to DC and cut the amount of people they could host. And so I'm no longer able to go with them in that. And so now November's open. So now October, November is open for me. And I like traveling. I have lots of places I want to go. And I want to go, I need to go to Boston two more times, October, November, and then I don't want to go anywhere cold after that. But I also need to stay put and go to blind school. But I don't have committed rides. And it's like, so I have to register for classes and the blind school doesn't like that I don't, that I can't commit. The blind school doesn't like that I don't have committed transportation on a regular basis to commit to certain days. And they're trying to work with me. And so I'm, I asked them, can I just register for schools Monday through Thursday? And I, I need to find rides and just trust in the universe and just continuously ask for help. And like, like I need to know who's available and what hours and when, Monday through Thursday. Blind school is Monday through Thursday. I have to be in La Jolla in the morning and I need to get picked up around between like one and three or something. So that's like the other big thing, like with planning my life right now, like, and there's blind dog school, which first I need to register for, which I need help with. It's an email sign up system. And I need someone to help me with that. And then I have to go stay there for 21 days. And then I'll need someone to take care of the temple and the kitty during that time. And then I come home with the baby. So this is my life. My life is like all over the place. <laughs> but I'm getting it all figured out. Like my external circumstances are like really challenging, but internally, <laughs> And, you know, I'm still finding some challenges, but I'm also finding great peace and order in the disorder, you know, like, and solutions. Like, like my dreams are also getting really informational, and my dreams are highly medicinal. Last night, I had a dream that really helped me guide my morning and what I needed for my day-to-day. And the dream is still coming together to help me figure out how to plan the rest of my day so I can really show up for... Her. Tonight, so we have the tantric unveiling meditation tonight. And tomorrow we have the festival of frolic, and then the next day we have the temple of play. So I have a really full weekend, and so today, in in between that, my self care model, I step it up like. 20 times so that way I can be the best teacher I can be and so I tune out of a lot of other things and so I can be really present with just the events at hand but at the same time I can't fully tune out you know so making the decisions as to what's a priority over the next few days and what's not and and then reminding everyone to not take it personal if they get ignored and reach back out to me if I miss our communications because that just happens all the time and um yeah i look forward to seeing you all this weekend and if you want to help me out and be an assistant in my personal life in any way directly or remotely and you want to receive my tantric wisdom and knowledge or body work directly or remotely let me know um and remember and the best way to reach me is WhatsApp or Marco Polo, 603-247-5288. My Facebook privileges get taken from me often, and I can't read text often. It's very hard for me. I try, I do my best, but I fall very short. And, I love you all. and Facebook does have audio and video, but I don't use it that much, and I get kicked off it a lot. So... 
please download WhatsApp and Marco Polo if you want to be in regular communication with me and you or if you want me to receive communication from you in any way that's the best way to communicate with me thank you all I'll take a moment to really show you all my gratitude if you're watching this video because I know a lot of you are with me energetically through the interwebs and then some of you are in my life directly and some of you love me from a distance because that's how you feel safe and some of you show up nice and close and I love it too so however you choose to give your love to me and receive my love I thank you for that <laughs> And remember, please, one of my requests is that you share my love by sharing, clicking the share button on your social media, because that always helps sharing the love.